All right, welcome back to Photoshop. So today I'm going to show you something about sizing your image on your screen. Now you would think this would be very simple and most people would know how to do this, but you'll be surprised when we get towards the end. I'm going to show you some methods to do this that are super easy to do and probably the most effective in sizing your image. But most people had no idea that you could do these inside of Adobe Photoshop. Viewing your image on the screen. So right now you can see my screen is really small. I have now I have all this extra room right here and I want to make my image bigger. So how can I do that? Now a lot of people know the simplest way, hopefully, which are the quick key commands, which are command or control plus or minus. So if I hit plus, it zooms in. If I hit minus, it zooms out. Plus zooms in, minus zooms out. Now all the zooming features are located under view. So you can see right here, here's that zoom. And right over here, we've got the command plus and right below it, command minus for zoom out. We also have fit to screen and that's quick key is command zero. So if I want to fit the screen, what it's going to do, it's going to fit it to the longest dimension. Since this is a horizontal image, it's going to make it go to here and all the way to here. So command zero, fit the screen. Notice we have a little bit of space up here because it's not the exact same ratio, but it's fitting this image in that space. Now the next thing that we have up here under view is 100%. So in this case, if we go to command one, that's gonna be at 100%. And where can you tell the percentages? So if you look right here, note we are at 61.2%. If I hit command one, that zooms us into 100%, meaning you're viewing this image at 100%. Now, every screen resolution is different. I have a 5K monitor, so how much of this image I'm gonna see is to somebody that has a 1920 by 1080 screen is gonna be completely different. But you're viewing the image at 100%, and that is right here under the document. The next thing that we have down here is 200%. Notice there's not a quick key. So if we click that, just like that, then we're under at 200%. Now, most of these items are ones that you don't actually use. We can also view as print size. So if you size this to print, you could view it as print size. You could view it as actual size. You could flip it horizontal. You could do pattern preview. And then you have the screen modes. So right here, we have different screen modes. And we have standard screen mode, full screen with the menu bar and the full screen modes. So what that means, and I'm going to use the quick keys for it. All you have to do is hit the letter F. So if I hit F, notice it's giving me a different view. So it's getting rid of some of those menu bars. If I hit F again, it gives me the image full screen. Now I can hit command zero to make it fit. So now we're at 100%. Hit F again, it brings us back to the main menu, that is F, F, F. Those are screen viewing modes. I usually just leave mine in this. I don't rarely need to use the full screen modes, so it's not something that I use often. Now, what I do use often is right here, this zoom tool. Now, to get to the zoom tool, notice you're gonna be using the letter Z down here to get to the zoom tool. So we'll come up here and click on this. I'll hit the letter Z and boom, just like that. Pop down here to the zoom tool by using the letter Z. Now when I have the zoom tool, it brings up a little menu bar up here. And I think sometimes people notice that little bar is there, but you have to click on the zoom tool to get to it. It's actually very helpful inside of Photoshop. You've got a plus and a minus, meaning that you can zoom out by clicking on the image. Or if you come over here and hit the plus, you can zoom in by clicking on your image. The next thing that we have is you have two options and these are your two options. So we've got resize windows to fit and zoom all windows. Now I use resize windows to fit. If you do zoom all windows, it, what it does is it zooms all your windows. So this is a window and this image back here is a window. So if I click this to do zoom all windows and what I'm gonna do 
is we will go ahead and just zoom out. And now if you come to this one, notice this image zoomed out. Now if I come in here and I zoom back in, it also zoomed this image back in. That's not something that I would do. Like I never need to zoom in both of my windows at the same time. So I usually have resize windows to fit. Now right here's the key of the whole tutorial, Scrubby Zoom, the thing that people have no idea what it is or how to use it, but it's actually super helpful because you don't need to take your hands off the mouse or the keyboard to do it. So I have it checked. And what that means is, if I come into my image and there's an area that I wanna zoom in on, and it can be anywhere. Right now it's gonna be the eye. And I left click on that spot with my mouse and then scroll to the right while I'm holding down the left click. It's gonna zoom in to the point that you clicked on. So in this case, it's gonna be this eye. So I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna zoom and it goes into that eye. If I scroll to the left, it zooms out. So scroll to the right, it zooms in. Scroll to the left, it zooms out. Now, if I wanted to zoom into her hand, all I would need to do is left click on her hand and then zoom in, it's gonna zoom into that point and go right into the hand and then I can left click and zoom out. So whatever point you click on is where it's gonna zoom in and out. Now, a lot of times when you get an image and you've zoomed in quite a bit like this, you might wanna to scroll to a different area. To move the image, you're gonna hold down the space bar. Notice that in the center of my little blue circle, instead of the plus magnifying glass, it turns into the hand. So then I can click and move the image to the location that I want. So I can drag that around on my computer. The last thing that we have here are just some three little quick access buttons. So we can click and it will zoom in to 100%. I can click to fit the image on the screen or fill, so fill means it's just gonna fill in this extra little spot here and it's gonna zoom in so that the image fills in this totally completely. Not as useful, usually I'm using fit because I don't wanna lose the edges of my image. Well, that is all about fitting your image on your screen and how to use that cool little scrubby zoom inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.